as you can see, there is just a tiny bit of play in there. And I've put 42 and a half hours on the motor, which I mean, I've never adjusted the swing arm. So for it to just have that uh, amount of play is pretty impressive because my Blackhawk and Nitro were notorious for me having to tighten those up. So I'm pretty happy to see that. I don't have to tighten that as often. However, we're gonna do a little project here. So I'm gonna loosen it for the first time actually. So this is what it looks like disassembled pretty darn beefy uh, bolt so we're showing what happens when your swing arm bolt breaks in flight obviously we're not going to do this in flight no one in it already looks like it pitches you way left and back so let's get in it and all I did was remove the bolt from here here pap has a really super sturdy bolt as we've seen which they lock tight in so this is what it would be like if I was sitting in the seat and the bolt broke. Actually not horrible, but I mean, I'm, I'm super lean back, am I not? Obviously. <laughs> you could paraglide still. So it would shift me to the left and pitch me way back. So if it broke, I guess that would put me in maybe a, what do you think, a left turn? This is you straight on, yeah, you'd be hardcore weight shift left. Well, this side is up higher, right? So that means we're pulling down harder on the right, so we might get stuck into... Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm looking the opposite direction. We might get stuck into a right turn, therefore having to compensate with left, weight shift, and brake, and hopefully make it back to the LZ, I guess, or throw a reserve, whatever you got to do. So this is kind of taking a lot of pressure to hold it here. But this is pretty normal. And so this is what happens if it breaks, I guess. So pretty good shift right there. And then you'd have to do whatever you can to compensate. So might be pretty sketchy in flight, but there's your example. <laughs> Another thing that's interesting to note about this system is how the carabiner goes, uh, connects to the strap, which goes to the seat, um, as well as being connected to um, the swing arm itself so in a normal configuration when the swing arm bolt is not broken most of the pressure is on this front strap um, but right now this strap is actually taut and it's a good safety mechanism to have that so come over here to the normal swing arm so this normal side the tension is more here when you're sitting in the seat and this strap is completely loose but as soon as the swing arm bolt breaks, it transitions. That's all I put on. How much do you guys put on? That's honestly probably more than I usually put on. Make sure the swing arm goes underneath the reserve bridle. The black washer, large one, goes on first. And then bolt and small black washer, which is already pressed onto uh, the section where the swing arm rotates and then you push the bolt all the way through and screw it in and that black uh, large washer will get slightly pressed onto uh, that part that I said the swing arm rotates on and you see how the washer is about to get pressed on there I'm gonna put the camera down so I can make sure that washer is getting centered on there nicely I've just tightened it down to where the swing arm can move up and down freely but there is no side-to-side -side play and the uh, blue Loctite will do the rest, as well as the washers. I kind of wanted to fly like that, but I don't think it's actually safe. Um, I don't think I'll be doing an in-flight test. What's interesting to note with the PAP is that you have that strap that goes through the ATS arm system to the carabiner, down to the seat, and you also have that um, strap on the front. But I hope we can still learn something from here that, I mean, you're still gonna be connected to your paramotor if your bolt breaks. And it's, it seems unlikely on this frame with how hefty that bolt is. So 
Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about swing arms, and I'll see you on the next one. Later. Spider-Man. Is it dead? Oh, Did it man. move? Or... Oh, <laughs> it's dead. Oh. I thought it clung on. Oh. Korea Spider. <laughs> Spider-Man Korea edition. <laughs>